There would already be some pressure on a 24-year-old captain of a Canadian team, which Bo Horvat is after the start of this season appointment by the Vancouver Canucks, more so now by the fact the team is dealing with some injuries. Let's bring in Dan Murphy, our Vancouver Canucks insider from Vancouver. Dan, uh, Brandon Sutter, Jay Beagle, both out. How much more falls on the shoulders of the captain, Bo Horvat? Uh, it's more taxing, that's to be sure, Faisal. Uh, since, I guess, November the... 12th. That's when Brandon Sutter went down and Beagle went down a short time after. So the last three weeks, uh, with those two out of the lineup, Bo Horvat's playing 23 minutes and 16 seconds per game. That's more than any forward in the National Hockey League. And I believe the game that Sutter went down, he played over 27 minutes. So at the end of some nights, he's just a puddle. And it's because, you know, Sutter and Beagle are the defensive centers for this team. They're supposed to be the matchup guys. They're supposed to go against the other team's top forwards. They are top two guys on the penalty kill in terms of ice time. They take a lot of defensive zone draws. So without them in the lineup, that all kind of falls on Horvat's shoulders. He has to play in all situations. They don't want him to be spending time in the penalty kill, but sometimes they have to. They don't want him taking every defensive zone draw, but right now they don't trust anybody else to do it. Hmm. So uh, there's a lot of responsibility on uh, Horvat's shoulders at this point. So is that why Travis Green has him taking those faceoffs simply out of necessity? No question. Uh, no question. Uh, the same time frame, he's taken 310 draws, and uh, that is more than anyone in the league by 50. And I should mention that 23-16 uh, per game, that's more than any forward in the league uh, since that time. So uh, it, it, right now, I don't think Green trusts Elias Pettersson to take those defensive zone draws. He certainly doesn't trust Adam Gaudet at this point in his young career to take those draws. Then Tyler Grayevac, a young man they brought up, he's now out long-term. Uh, so they have to find another center to play. They're using a winger in Tim Schaller. So um, yeah, I mean, Horvat's got to take the draws. This is two years it's been like this. And even in overtime, you know, I know fans would love to see Pedersen out there for the first face-off, but as we know, um, you know, overtime, a lot of it is possessing the puck right away. Mm -hmm. So he's got to send Horvat over first to try to get the puck so they can get possession and then try to score. So there's not too many situations uh, that Horvat doesn't have to be on the ice right now. Well, the hope is that obviously the centers come back and the load uh, is kind of eased off him a little bit, but does this team still require some depth on the wings? No question. Uh, I mean, I think Benning did try to address that in the off season. Uh, he paid a hefty price for JT Miller, and we should say that Miller has been excellent on the top line with mm -hmm. Pedersen and Besser. That line has been very good all season long. Uh, and the other player they brought in to perhaps play in the top six was Michael Furlan. Of course, he's still in concussion protocol. He's back skating with the team. He should be back soon, but only one goal before he went out. So, I mean, there are guys like uh, Pearson and Levo, uh, Berchi when he was here, Goldobin is up, uh, put Furlan in that group. These are all players that can have their moments in the top six alongside Bo Horvat. But I think if you're a good team, those guys are all probably third line players. So uh, mm -hmm. I think Benning is still searching to find someone for Horvat who's had literally like 30 different line combinations in the last season and a quarter. Uh, and so they're just trying to find something to work because Horvat's done it. Every single season, his point per game totals have increased, but that's in danger this year because he's playing so much of the defensive zone uh, and also because they haven't quite found the right fit on the wing for him. Yeah, I imagine there are a lot of uh, introductions by Bo Horvat to some of the wingers that he's played with. Uh, we want to be introduced to somebody in your house. I know oh, you have uh, a dog that was Come eager here. to have Come some FaceTime with Come us. Here. So. Come here, Peach. Let's, uh, let's feature. There's Peach. Hey, Peach. <laughs> what do you she think looks, of Bo Horvat? She looks really comfortable right now, doesn't she? Yeah. Uh, not like the Canucks, though, who are uh, struggling for some wins, struggling for some centers, and struggling for some depth as well. Their next chance to play uh, Saturday, 1 p.m. local time against the Buffalo Sabres. Dan Murphy, thanks so much for this. And Peach. <laughs> thanks, Faisal. Thanks for having me on.